Hi, it's Mary. I am here at the Paper Turtle with another haul video. And I have this nice clean desk. Even my desk over there is clean. Um, I spent the day a couple days ago. I haven't wanted to mess it up, so I haven't done anything for a couple days. But I spent the day clearing off all of my desk. I mean, obviously it's not all cleared off, but it looks really nice and clean and I don't want to mess it up but I have to craft at some point right um but we're not crafting today today we are doing a whole video and the first thing I have to show you this was a bargain I think I paid a dollar for these four containers um I'm always looking for organizational things I have no idea what I'm going to put in these but I have them and they match and they were only a dollar so that's why I bought them and um, I have plans for my room I really do oh I just dropped them all over the place okay I have plans for my room and those plans include organization <laughs> um, it's just going to be a project and it's going to take me a while to get there. So, uh, until I do, I just collect things. Oh, uh, let's see. These are from just the other day. I picked up some of this yarn. I have what they used to call, they used to call this fiber in the scrapbooking world. Uh, probably 10 years or so ago it was a big thing to collect these, but they weren't big skeins like this. They were just, um, some of you probably remember, they were like on a cardboard and you had like four or five different ones and certainly not this much. Well, I had collected a ton of those <clears throat> and I have a box full, um, but I've been using them lately. I didn't use a whole lot when I was scrapbooking. I'm, I'm, I'm still scrapbooking, but back when they were a big thing in scrapbooking. I didn't use a whole lot of it, but I use it now on the top of tags. I love it, and I love having different um, textures and different colors and things. Now, I don't want to overload myself with buying a bunch of this, but this is a neutral color that I use a lot of and that I think I might be running low on. So that's why I picked that one up. I grabbed these two books. This um, thrift store had several Trixie Belden and Nancy Drew and a couple of other books. And I didn't read these when I was younger because, well, they were a little bit before my time, but we used to see them in the used bookstores that we'd go to all the time. My mother was a big reader. My father, we had huge bookcases in our house full of books. And so I grew up with books. My thing was the Bobsy Twins. I still have a collection of Bobsy Twin books. I didn't really read these too much because they were mysteries and I wasn't big into the mysteries at the time. But I picked these up because I think that these would make fun journal covers. Um, they would appeal to someone who's nostalgic about Trixie Belden and Nancy Drew. They would appeal to someone who likes that retro look. Um, so I just picked these up just, just to have them as journal covers and we'll see what I do with them later. I'm not, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them. I just, I just wanted to try it, I guess. Um, let me see. Uh, I picked up some more. This is eyelash trim. Again, I'm just kind of restocking my stash of trims, fibers as we used to call them. I liked the color. Um, see, so I would pair, like depending on what I'm doing, but I would pair like an eyelash trim with one of these. I don't know what these are called. These are called the eyelash because... You know, they look like eyelashes. I'm not sure what these are currently called. 
fuzzies. That's what I call them. So I would pair, maybe not these colors, but one of these with one of these, and it gives great texture on the tops of those tags. So yes, I have a supply of those. <laughs> um, this was my, my favorite thrift store that has the uh, that bundles everything nicely. They finally had some more old buttons. And guess what she did? She put the price on the back. Yay! I'm still going to try to get that off. But I thought what I would do with these is just use them as is in a tuck spot in a journal. Wouldn't that be fun? Now, if I can't get this off the back, I'm not sweating that because what I'll do is I'll put a piece of coffee dyed paper over the back of it to cover that up and then it can be journaled on what do you think about that i like that idea there were more there were um a couple of these bigger ones and a couple more of the smaller ones but you know they were a dollar each so i didn't want to load up too much on them they would just hang around here if you know how many journals am i gonna put them in i don't know this is all i got anyway but I was so happy to see that she wrote the price on the back of them. Thank you so much. All the other ones had it on the front, but the vintage cards had them on the back. So maybe she's paying attention. Um, this was bought at the same place. I'm kind of sad that this is on here because this would make a cute tag. But I might be able to get it off. I'm going to try. But these are cute. Some matching ribbon and the little rosettes. I thought that was cute. It's not old or anything. Um, it's just cute. I grabbed these. This is, um, of course I had to write on it. Why did they do that? What a little sticker that is easily taken off. Maybe I can erase that one. I don't know. Let me try. Um, this paper, it's kind of, it, it's got the feel of Well, maybe if I keep doing it, it might come off. Um, it's got the feel of handmade paper, but it's like cardstock weight. I really like it. So it make great. It's thick enough to make really nice tags. It's got a texture to it, and the coloring is great. I don't know. I just thought that was a a good buy right there. Something you don't see things like that very often. It might be just watercolor paper. I don't know. I think it is watercolor paper. I picked up this. I have no idea what this is. It says washi modern. I'll, I'll butcher that. Kiramoji. And over here it says Japanese paper is mystery. That got me. <laughs> that made me pick this up. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to find out. Or I'm going to try to figure it out. All right, so it's got these. Okay, it's paper. with this stick in here. It's a sharp stick. I'm not sure. This paper is really cool. Feels like handmade paper. Rice, no, rice paper's thinner, right? I don't know if, you, can you tell? I'm not sure. This has more of a little bit more of a silky feel, and this part is a little rougher. I have no idea what I just bought. <laughs> Does anybody know? Does anybody know what the, the, this is? I have no idea. Very interesting, though. Let's see if I can wrap it back up. 
So it was wrapped up like, like somehow. This was sticking up. This was like this. Right? This way. Like that. I have no clue. No clue. But there's some interesting textured paper. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I just have to buy things. This is this is a sticker that's on it. If anybody is able to read that, I don't know. But I like it says Japanese paper is mystery. I don't know. Sometimes I just got to buy something just because it's intriguing. Help me out if you know. I don't know why I bought that. Oh, this this um, store was half price. Half price on their crafts. Um, this is one of the stores. There's three stores run by the same organization. They are always a mess. A big, huge mess. They have decent sized craft sections. But you have to paw through the stuff. They've got little, um, like those plastic bins, all in the craft section. And things are just thrown in there. Um, yarn and thread is all tangled up. And it, it there's packages emptied out. And it's horrible. Every time I go, <laughs> drives my husband crazy. I, I try to straighten them out a little bit. And there's one store that had um, a whole bunch of stamps. I put all, they were scattered everywhere. I put all the stamps in one bin. And then I put all the like hem tapes and seam binding and stuff like that. That was scattered everywhere, all in one bin. Every time I go, I re-straighten. <laughs> Probably drives some people crazy. Um, but this was half price day. So I found a couple things that I, I picked up for half price. Th this is some tool. Um, I don't really know why I picked it up. They had... A whole bunch of different colors of tool and I have some um, that I got in a state sale one time that looked like it was um, the lady maybe made tutus that's what it looked like and it was a whole bunch of different colors of it so I had picked some up it's sitting in my other room I never use it so I don't know why I picked this up I think because it was sparkly I don't know, <laughs> but I have more tool. I like appliques. They're kind of fun to add as a little embellishment in your book. So I picked up this little butterfly one. And then I picked up this mystery bag because it was half price. And because it had some little buttons in there, I'm not sure. Let's open it up and see what is in here that I got that I would probably throw away. <laughs> All right. A pom-pom. Tongue depressors. Do you have a use for these in your journals? Let me know. Eyes. Sometimes those are kind of fun to stick on something just for the heck of it. All right. This pretty little rose. Um, probably go out with my Silk flowers that I'm putting in a yard sale. Same with this. A bundle of these. I have a bunch of these now, and I don't, I never use them. I really should. Um, they'd be cute on a page. All right, we got some white ribbon here, this thin ribbon. a drawstring that's nasty and dirty it's trash all right this is what i saw this little bag of buttons they're so cute they're little little purple buttons oh my goodness aren't they cute can you see them i know one thing that i'm going to do with them aren't they cute i'm going to make um, 
button cards. I'm going to make my own button cards. And these would be perfect on it because they're small. And they're cute. I don't need to put that back on there. Um, a gummy bear. It is not a bead. That'll go to my grandkids. This uh, plastic craft stuff. Uh, I don't have any use for that. That looks like a mothball. <laughs> it's not a mothball. It's a styrofoam ball. More of those. Uh, did I get ripped off in here? Not ripped off because I knew there probably wasn't going to be anything in here. Um, but some sequins. Boy, these are old. Look at that packaging. Um, oh, the bag's open. I can add these to my shaker card stuff. I went on a shaker card kick a while back and bought a bunch of sequins and stuff. I never made shaker cards. Um, what have we got here? Something I can't open. I see push pins. Some rings. Um, a needle threader, which I need. I'm going to keep that out. And some little chains. I don't know. I might use those little chains for something. Some eyeballs. Oh, they're pink eyeballs. Those are cute. <laughs> um, let's see. We got some more pom-poms and some kind of cups. They are too small to be a shot cup. So I don't know what these are. Caps? Are they glue caps? I guess it could be a glue cap. I don't know trash we have this beautiful silver flower a little jar of eyeballs I love the jar isn't that cute oh goodness some of those eyeballs are creepy looking they've got little look at them. <laughs> those are creepy can you see these am I in the camera I don't know <laughs> okay I don't know what I'm going to do with all these eyeballs but I now have a bunch of them um, star rhinestones they look like flat back stars those might be useful somewhere on something we have some tiny little black pom-poms and some little clear buttons. Those would be fun, too. I like those. Uh, what else have we got in here? Key rings. A couple little plastic beads in there. A couple of safety pins. Some gold sequins and a whole thing of sequin stuff. All right. Um, I don't know. I guess this was worth what did I pay for it? Two dollars. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll go through it again and uh, separate out the sequins and the buttons. And I guess the buttons were worth it, even though there's only a little bit. Let me know what you do with tongue depressors. And if you see anything here that you would use for something fun and different, let me know. Um, yeah, uh, my money probably could have been better spent somewhere else. <laughs> But that's all right. I, I like to get the mystery bags and see what's in them. It's just kind of fun going through them. And you never know what's going to be in there. Sometimes there's um, 
surprises in there. All right, moving on, moving on. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, another mystery bag. Don't we love these? <laughs> okay, I got... I think these were at a half price um, day, too. This is just a, a memo pad. I just liked it. It was something different. You can stick these into pockets and stuff in your in your journals or write a note to someone that you're sending happy mail to. Um, this little thing of, and I got a couple pens too. I don't know if they write. I don't, it, I didn't buy it for the pens. Yep, it writes. This just has some memo pads in it. Again, I like to just stick these into, um, oh, that's fun. I like to stick those into, oh my God, what do I stick them in? Tuck spots, <laughs> pockets, things like that. Ooh, I'm on a roll today, aren't I? Here's some wallpaper. It's probably from about the 80s. Um, wallpaper's fun. I have so much wallpaper I don't use. Why do I keep buying this stuff? I'm slowly using stuff up, though. I really am. All right, this is another mystery bag, and I'm sure I saw something in here that made me buy this. Let's see, what did I see that made me buy it? I don't know. Here's some twine with sequins in it. I don't know if this would be good for binding the books or not. The sequins are really tiny, so they may not they may not bother it. I don't know. I might try it one time and see. It'd be kind of fun if it works and you can see them. I don't know. All right, we have some velvet ribbon and some more velvet ribbon. Some more of these. Some beads. Beads are always good. Oh, some piping. I guess this would be okay down on the front of a book. You know, when you do the, when you wrap the fabric around the spine and you want to cover the edge of it, this would work. I usually use gimp, but this would work too. Some blue velvet. Some more of these flowers. Oh my goodness. I have a seashell. This does not have a hole in it. <laughs> so I'm not sure how I would use this. A zipper pull. Interesting. Could be a dangle. Nah, I don't think I would use that. Uh, there's a couple of those. I don't know. Would you use would you use this as a like a charm type of thing? I don't know. It seems odd to me. All right, we have some of this fabric ribbon. It's got vegetables on it. Polka dots. More vegetables in blue. Some narrow green ribbon. Why did I buy this bag? I don't know. Uh, some jute. Jute is good for tag toppers. Some metallic ribbon. Some old blue. No. <laughs> Yellow. I'm not colorblind. Yellow rickrack. Uh, this is elastic. Not good for binding your books. Do not use elastic. I don't know what I'm going to use that for. And some blue chicks fabric tape. Yes, it is sticky. <laughs> blue chicks. It's very cute. Not sure what I'll use that for. 
and more zippers and more shells. Hmm. All right. Another bag of garbage. I don't know why. I don't know what possessed me to buy that bag. But there's a couple things I can use. I don't know. It's it it's uh a junk accumulation. <laughs> no, what I will do with a lot of this stuff, I'm gonna I'll throw it in another bag and I will sell it at a yard sale. Cause if I bought it, that means somebody else will buy it too. Alright. Let's see. Oh, this is I meant to do this at the beginning of the video. I hope you're still watching. Um, this I got in Happy Mail. One of my viewers, thank you, Sonia. I hope you got my email. I did email you um, to thank you for this. Um, this was just a little surprise that came in the mail. Um, as I've mentioned before, I do collect Raggedy Ann and Andy. Um, she sent me this book. And this is from... Um, at the Grown Learn Library. They also did, I think, a Disney one or something. But anyway, so there's several volumes. This is volume 11. And I did not have this one. Which, what are the odds? Because I have most of them. But I didn't have this one. So, thank you, Sonia. Thank you so much. This goes in my, my library. It, this is not going to be made into a junk journal. And I love it. And it's in excellent condition. Like, really, really good condition. And if you're curious, I believe these are from the 80s, 1988. So again, thank you so much for this, Sonia. I meant to do that at the beginning of the video and I forgot, I'm sorry. All right, here's some books that I said I wasn't gonna pick up any more of. Um, did I already show you this one? I feel like I did. I don't know. I'm going to show you again anyway, if I didn't. I don't know why I think I did. Maybe I was just looking through it again. I don't know. It's Anyway, it's a, um, a book about vaudeville. And I bought it for the pictures and stuff in it. It's got some really cool pictures. Wouldn't that make a fun journaling card? Let's see where else. I know there's more pictures in here. Lots of pictures like that of the ladies. Um, there's advertising pictures. That's awesome. So there's, I just bought it for the pictures. I just thought it was different and unique. And um, I think I can have some fun with some of this stuff. American Vaudeville, as seen by its contemporaries. And this is... I don't think there's anything on the cover. Not really. It is dated. Nineteen eighty-four. The smoke and book of cigar box art and designs. I thought that this would be very cool for the pictures in it. They're, these are kind of big, so I'm not really sure how I'll use them, but I'm going to figure something out because I think that they're really cool. And I think there were some smaller ones in here too. I think. Maybe not. Yeah, there's a few smaller ones, but mostly they're these big ones. Um, I love that one. Again, not quite sure how I'm going to use them, but I will figure something out because now that one's really pretty. I know it's a cigar, but it's still pretty. I just thought it, I thought it was something I could use. Um, this is like, sometimes I pick up coloring books. Um, you can either cut the images out if they're good images or 
I'll stick a whole page into a journal or I will use it as a signature page. So I just kind of, I'm selective in what coloring books I get. I don't pick up just any old ones. Um, if they've got something in it I think that I'll use, then that, that's what I pick up. I thought these would be fun to just tear out the page and stick it into a pocket or something. I mean, who doesn't like a coloring page, right? And there's probably some images that I could even cut out and just use the image. But I thought the owls were fun. This pack of paper I thought was just really pretty. It's got um, some vintage looking design around the edges and the rows on the bottom and this these can be used again as um, a page in your signature or to tuck into a pocket or something inside the journal. Oh, I still have more. I keep buying books and I need to stop with the books. I keep saying that, but I can't help it. Oh, I just bought these. <laughs> they were a good will for 99 cents. And I bought them because I was buying some other things. Otherwise, I wouldn't have just picked them up by themselves. They're just clips because I don't have any of the bigger binder clips. So those are just to use when you're, you know, when you're sewing in your signatures and you'll clip your pages together. <laughs> I bought this for myself. <laughs> It's a Mouston Abbey sticker activity book. You know, like Downton Abbey, only it's Mouston Abbey. Isn't that adorable? It's got all these, of course, stickers in it. And you put the stickers on the pages where they go. I, I think it's too cutesy for me to use in a journal. I don't know. Maybe I will, but I just thought it was adorable. I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> I'll probably end up giving it, letting my granddaughter play in it, but I just, I don't know. I, you know, you see something and you just feel like you need to have it. <laughs> um, this Encyclopedia of American Birds has some really nice pictures in it. Look at these. Aren't those pretty? I'm always looking for brighter colored um, bird pictures. These are on shiny paper, which I'm not crazy about, but that's all right. If I'm doing something bright, the shiny paper's all right. But I just thought this one has, look at that. That's cool. Lots of different, different kinds of birds too. Not obviously not just the wild birds. Well, parrots are wild birds, too. Where I lived um, down in St. Pete, I guess you didn't need to know where, but where I lived before, there were a lot of wild parrots around. And you would hear them they're up in the trees, like hundreds of them. And one time we had a neighbor who caught a couple of them and put them in a cage. Oh, my God, those things squawked constantly, constantly. And it's like, really, do you think you're going to tame these birds? And he had them in a, a bedroom window that was right next to our bedroom. And it's like, oh, my God, shut those birds up. It was horrible. I think he ended up letting them go after a while. Okay, I have one more bag. Oh, and I have... My mother gave me these. I've told you before that my mother collects buttons. And she'll pick up buttons once in a while and go through them. And she gives me um, what she doesn't want. Now, these are, we're not sure what they are. <laughs> They're glass. They, she picked them up in a bag of buttons or something. She told me to, to sell them, to put them in my jars to sell them. But I think some of these I might try to use. So they're just like 
see they're they're not buttons they don't have holes in them to attach them to anything they're probably like um were put on as decoration on something i don't know these the round ones are really really high i don't know if you can if i can really show you like my finger fits inside so these would not sit well on a journal page you know that's too lumpy this one is not as high but it could decorate the these could decorate the front the cover maybe I don't know I'm, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with them um, I may keep the flatter ones and put throw these into a jar of buttons to you know entice somebody to buy them because they're something different and unusual so I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with those. But they're interesting anyway. And then I have one more bag here. More books. And that's it. Okay. This is magnetic sheets. I need to flatten them out. Um, I grabbed these because, um, again, when I redo my room, I might put these up. There's three of them. I might put them up like on the side of a bookcase or something to put my dies on. I, I see people put, you know, using um, magnetic sheets to store their dyes. I might do that. I don't know. I picked them up just in case I decide to do that. If not, I'll find another use for it. I don't know. I found this reader's journal. I really like this. This, um, first of all, we got this, which is really cool, but it has sections in it. Books read, Books recommended, books lent and borrowed, and book notes. And in the books read, it has pages where you put the title, the author, the publisher, and notes. Somebody wrote one entry in it. Um, so there's all those pages. And then it has quotes down here at the bottom from different authors. Books recommended. Title, author, publisher, recommended by, bookstore notes, and all these pages. Isn't that cool? Um, Lent and borrowed. There's a Jane Austen one. Love that. I love that. This has to have a special use, and I'm not, I have to figure out what, how I'm going to use it. I don't know. And book notes. So this has, like, again, a lot of uses. <clears throat> I would tuck some of these pages into a journal, especially if it was a journal about books. Um, I can use some of these myself. And the graphics, you know, there's not a lot, but they're kind of cool. I love the cover. I could remake the cover into a journal. So that was a good buy. Unpacking my library, architects and their books. I got this for the pictures. Look at these pictures. I know they're just pictures of books. But if you're a book lover like I am, you'll appreciate this. These would make great backgrounds in my glue book. Great tags. Imagine this as a tag. I just, I liked it. I thought it was really cool. I showed it to my husband. He says, you know, you can just take pictures of our bookshelf. No, that's not the point. <laughs> 
That's not the point. And these are all different. I don't know. I just, I liked it. I thought it was kind of a cool book. I'll use it. <clears throat> and then I picked up this Garden Almanac. Um, I just thought it had some pretty pictures in it. Lots of things in it. There's this type of stuff. That'd make a great journaling card. There's several of those. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Painting. There's there's a lot of really nice pictures in here. So that is called the Garden Almanac. Country Living Gardener. Let's see if there's a date on it. 2000. So you should be able to find that at Amazon or somewhere. Um, that's all I have today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. And we will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.